Hello everyone, my name is Haroon and I'll be explaining you how to solve a differential equation of this format. Now we usually solve these kinds of differential equations by exact method, but the condition for an exact method is that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now when these are not equal, here comes the problem. Now what we do is that we use this reducible to exact method. It has five cases or five rules and I'll just be covering two of them for now. Case one says that the partial derivative of m with respect to y minus the partial derivative of n with respect to x upon n will give you a function of x only. A function of x only means that you will not have any variable over here besides x. After we are done with this we need to find the integrating factor. Integrating factor is a term that when multiplied to an equation that could not be solved by exact method makes it an equation that can now be solved by exact method. I'm just calling it the exact equation. So to, uh, the, the integrating factor is equal to e to the power integral f of x dx. Now when the, this case is not satisfied, we need to proceed to case 2. Just a bit of interchange of terms, almost same. Uh, the partial derivative of n with respect to x minus the partial derivative of m with respect to y upon m must give you a function of y only. So you will have a term over here that will have no variables except y. The rest of the procedure is same. Integrating factor is equal to e to the power integral f of y dy. Multiply that to this equation and make it an exact equation. Here is an example. So 2y squared plus 3x dx plus 2xy dy is equal to 0. So the term that is with uh, dx, I name that it as m and the term that is with dy, I name it as n. So the partial derivative of m with respect to y is uh, 2 to the 4y plus as this is the partial derivative of y, so this term becomes constant and the constant derivative is 0, so 4y plus 0. And the partial derivative of n with respect to x is 2y. So as uh, the, these two are not equal, these cannot be solved by uh, the exact method. So we go to reducible to exact method and apply case 1. So this is the case 1, the, the partial derivative of m with respect to y minus the partial derivative of n with respect to x upon n. So that we get 4y minus 2y upon n, 2xy. Upon simplifying it, I get 2y upon 2xy and then I further simplify it into 1 over x. Now this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a, f a function of x only over here and this is what I get. I don't get any y's or z's over here or any other variable. So the next step is to find the integrating factor. e to the power integral 1 over x dx. Uh, the integral of 1 over x is ln x, so e to the power ln x. These two cancel out and I get the integrating factor of x. I multiply x with the, this entire equation and to get to make it into an equation that can be solved by exact method. So I get 2xy squared plus 3x squared dx plus 2x squared y dy. Now you can further solve it by following the uh, exact method, but this is a direct method or a shortcut method that I use to find out the answer. You can use it too if you want to. So, the shortcut method is to integrate this term m with respect to x and integrate this term, that is with dy, integrate only those terms that has y only with respect to y. So this does not has y only, it has x also, so this cannot be considered. So I'll just derive, uh, integrate 2xy squared plus 3x squared, I've got it uh, for you. Uh, 2x square upon 2y square plus 3x cube upon 3 plus uh, the uh, constant of integrate. So I get x square y square plus x cube plus c is equal to 0 and that is the final answer. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that helped you. Goodbye.